Hey friends, today I am hanging out at Epcot. Yesterday was the return of fireworks to Walt Disney World and we spent our day at the Magic Kingdom to watch Happily Ever After. So today we are at Epcot so we can see Epcot forever. I am so excited. We're gonna eat some food, ride some rides, and enjoy Epcot. Anywho's, let's go do this. I'm really hoping we're gonna have better weather for Epcot Forever. Yesterday, it was kind of a rainy happily ever after, but it was still absolutely amazing. It was so awesome to be able to be there at the Magic Kingdom for the return of Happily Ever After. It was a downpour and I didn't even care. Like, <laughs> I was getting soaking wet. My camera got soaking wet and I was just living it up. I mean, it was so amazing. Just to be able to see fireworks again, like I feel like it was just, like everything was coming together. I'm gonna start in World Showcase. The fireworks don't start till 10 o'clock, so we have a couple of hours before that, and I figured we can get something to eat, and then maybe come back over the future world later if we wanna ride some rides. I'm very excited to see what Epcot Forever is gonna look like out on World Showcase Lagoon since they have all of the Harmonious barges out there. It's gonna be a little strange. Of course, Harmonious is set to debut October 1st for the 50th anniversary, and I'm happy that we're able to give Epcot Forever a uh, proper goodbye. So like, you know what I mean? It's really nice. It's not that bad of a show. I mean, it's not Illuminations, but I really did like it. <laughs> I love walking around World Showcase though, so it's gonna be a fun evening and fireworks always makes it better. I'm pretty sure that was an adult carrying another adult around Epcot's World Showcase. I didn't mean for that to happen, but it was pretty funny. I think I'm gonna hop into the Rosen Crown Pub and grab myself a harp. It looks like a lot of people are excited for Epcot Forever tonight. We got a little bit wild, so we're gonna probably get ourselves a couple drinks. I know a lot of people say the fireworks is a good sign that Walt Disney World is getting back to the way that it used to be. Well, I feel like this is a good sign that Walt Disney World is getting back to the way it used to be. Definitely a crowded Rosen Crown like usually. We're gonna try to sneak in here. <laughs> Even though that seemed like a really fun atmosphere, I think we're gonna take this harp to go and just continue walking around World Showcase. So, cheers! Seems like a lot of activity out there. Now, I've heard rumors that they're not doing the kites anymore, mainly because of everything that has to do with the barges out there, but I do hope I get to see those one last time. If not, it's okay, but I really did love the kites. I'm definitely gonna be looking at getting something to eat tonight. Now, I'm not too sure what I should get though. Most of the restaurants I've already eaten at and there's not many available reservations. So I think we're just gonna go with the whim and see what's available on the walk-up list. And also, I wouldn't mind checking a show at the American Gardens. I know they have a lot of local bands that actually come and perform. So maybe we'll see what's happening there. I was really hoping that I can catch the Voices of Liberty, but it looks like they have Latin Ambition playing at 7.30 and 8.30, so maybe we'll be able to catch one of those shows. It's so pretty here at night. Like when you get to like come in here and just kind of like sit down, listen to music, and they got the lights going, it's a really good show. Looks like on the walking list we have Lee Cellier, Rosen Crown, Beer Garden, and Coral Reef. I'm not too sure what I want to get. I mean, I do love beer garden. I think it'd be nice to hang out in there, listen to some music, eat some <laughs> schnitzel and spatzel and drink some beer. I don't know, I'm torn. I don't think I need to actually go all in on the beer garden. What I was really craving was the Germany pretzel. So I think I'm gonna get a pretzel and a beer here in Germany, and that way we can actually hop back over to the American Gardens Theater and watch the uh, local band play tonight. That sounds like a perfect plan. Honestly, these are some of the best pretzels I have ever had. Look at them. They're huge too. I like how they're just hanging there. Are they putting them in bags now? They usually just have a bunch of pretzels in there, but I think they're putting them in bags now. It's gonna be interesting. Look at these cast members walking around handing out cups of water. That is the coolest thing ever. I don't think I've ever seen that before. <laughs> wow, I'm actually really impressed.
Hi, friends. <laughs> I took a cup of water. Why not? I mean, they came up to me and asked, and I was like, okay, I'll have one, so thank you. I like how they have this sign here for German beers and it shows you the different colors in the beers and it also gives you the ABV. I'm going with the Dunkel and it's the darkest beer but it's not the strongest beer so it always gives you kind of like a mind trick you know. Honestly though do you guys know what I mean a lot of people would look at the Dunkel and be like oh no I'm not gonna drink this but it's not very hoppy it's more of a mocha like you know what I mean like you get kind of a rich chocolate uh, taste to it, but I love Dunkles. I usually get it when I go into the beer garden. So now that I got my pretzel, I got my beer, I think I'm all set. <laughs> now, let's take a look at the pretzel in the paper bag. Look at this. <laughs> it's so funny, but at least you can set it down now. Wow, that is huge, isn't it? Like, honestly, it's actually bigger than my head. Like, holy moly. <laughs> We're gonna take a nice little part right here. And perfect. Now this ain't no Mickey pretzel, so we can't go ears first. I used to always say this was my favorite pretzel at Disney World, but it's been a while since I've had one. Now I wanna know if it lives up to that claim. So we're about to find out. Still the best. I would definitely say this is number one. Baseline Tap House number two. And then also the pretzel that comes on the charcuterie at Jock Lindsay's Hangar Bar would be number three. And then traditional Mickey pretzel all the way. I am really loving this sun right now. It's summer. I mean, we're here. It's July. Got pretzels. We're in Epcot. We're drinking Dunkel. Now that I had my pretzel, I think we're gonna head back to America and catch a little bit of the uh, Latin ambition. Bring my dunkle with me. I am telling you, today is such a perfect day to be hanging out at World Showcase. I thought we were gonna be getting some rain, but it is beautiful out. Ooh, the show's starting. We gotta rush in there. You have to support your local artist. This is Orlando's own Latin ambition. Look at this, we got front row. I feel fancy, here they come. Woo! Oh, he's got a fancy fedora on. I really like that show, Latin Ambition, and they were like very like fast paced and it's a good environment. I'm really enjoying that they're bringing in local like Orlando artists and bands and it's a nice way. Like I said, you gotta support your local music. And now I think we're just gonna keep moving around World Showcase. Maybe head on over to the uh, Grand Fiesta Tour. I wouldn't mind taking a little ride in. And here we are. I'm so excited that we don't have to wait in a line anymore. Like before, they actually used to make you queue up out here, but now we can actually just walk into the temple and uh, go for a ride on the Grand Fiesta Tour. Oh, and the AC is amazing. This is probably one of the best places to come and cool off if you're walking around World Showcase. Oh, I love it. It doesn't even look like there's a wait for the Grand Fiesta Tour. Hi, how are you? Ooh, lucky us. 
the sad thing is it looks like they still have the plexiglass up and this is somebody's like nightmare if you're claustrophobic then this is a nightmare when you have to actually queue up and go down and up and down and up and all of these it's definitely a little scary doing a new scene to Mickey's Philhar Magic with Coco and Donald. So like now it really makes me think that maybe Coco might be coming to the Grand Fiesta tour. I mean I would be all for it. I love that movie. I remember actually coming in here and making jokes that this were the end of the night fireworks. So like when there was no fireworks happening. But not tonight. We're actually gonna see real fireworks. I love the Grand Fiesta tour. I love it the way that it is now, but if they do add a Coco overlay, I think I'm gonna like it just as much. As long as they keep the three Caballeros and Donald in it, you know what I mean? Like, I don't think they can take them away, but they can kind of incorporate them in the Coco universe. I think it's possible. Ooh, remember, tonight's performance of Epcot Forever is at 10 o'clock this evening. We get off the Grand Fiesta tour and now it's kind of dark out. So I think we're gonna grab a drink and then find ourselves a spot for Epcot Forever. This is how you gotta do it, you know what I mean? If you want the good spots, even though you can see Epcot Forever from all around World Showcase, you gotta scope out a good spot. Right here used to be the Fast Pass viewing area and you can see it's actually starting to fill up and we just got about an hour and a half until the show starts. Lots of people excited. And also, look at the tape. Holy moly. <laughs> tape back in Disney World. And I figured the best place to go get a beer before Epcot Forever is back at the Rosen Crown. Now we found ourselves a spot to watch the fireworks. And look at this. The fire! As we gather by the fire. Oh, that gets me so excited. It's so awesome to see the fire on here at World Showcase. That was one of my favorite parts of Illuminations. When they blew out the fire, oh man, I really missed that show. But like I said, I still like Epcot forever. And I think we got a good spot here. Now we couldn't get the front area. I went to go check it out earlier. And I showed you that used to be where the Fast Pass was. And now it's pretty much full. So we're gonna, we're gonna like this one, I feel like. So now we will just sit here and wait for Epcot Forever to start. We got our beers. I'm with some friends. Kyle. Hey. Jojo. Hey, yeah, Kyle. Yeah. Kyle, uh, YouTube, and uh, Jojo's World. Yeah. We're it's the first, well, the second night of Epcot Forever back. And you guys are excited, right? Oh my God, yes, I mean, listen, pumped. those flames got me really excited. Almost. I know, right? Illuminations. <laughs> yeah. Reflections of Earth. <laughs> awesome. <Yeah. laughs> So now I'm going to actually put you guys up and I'm going to give you a, a kind of a bird's eye view of Epcot Forever, why I sit back and enjoy the view. So uh, we'll talk right after the fireworks. I'm so excited.
I didn't, I, I almost cried. Thank you for joining us for We had you all the way up on top of this rock here. Amazing, right? Impressive. Impressive, <laughs> Impressive for sure. And the best thing is, is like I said, so we put the camera up here, we blocked no one's view, and then we just kind of sat over here and just kind of watched and enjoyed the fireworks. And I gotta say, I love them. I love Epcot Forever. Like I said, I mean, I love Illuminations more, but this was absolutely amazing. That was absolutely amazing. And when Walt came on and made his speech at the end, it was just, it was beautiful. Like I said, I love Epcot Forever, and uh, I'm excited for Harmonious, and I don't know, I'm just happy in general that fireworks are back. So, I feel like that's gonna do it for me tonight. I had so much fun. I hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. We'll see you next time. Bye. I love staring at Spaceship Earth on the way out. Look at it. Isn't it just so beautiful? It's so massive too. Holy moly.